Hey, and welcome back to another Animal Crossing tutorial. Today, we're gonna talk about how to prevent your flowers from growing out of control. There's a couple ways to do that, and I'm gonna go over all three of the ways that I have, try it and make it look a little bit different each time. Okay, so over here, you can kind of see that my hyacinth have overgrown as well as my windflowers here, and they kind of are going into this path. So one of the ways I've prevented them from spreading into the path over here is by actually putting down just my own patterns of flowers. So I created these in my custom designs, and they're up here. So I have three different ones just to kind of like fill it out, but I've seen people make little weeds or clovers. I chose flowers just because I thought they looked a little bit cute. I have them strategically placed. So there's one right here, one on this south side and one over here. That way this can't really spread anywhere. And you'll notice it around here too. So these are actually two different ones if I wipe away this one. It's that small one, even though it looks like they go together. Like that. So this will prevent these roses from spreading out, but I can still have them placed in a really nice way. Another way that I have done in multiple areas of my town is by putting these rock paths in front of what I like to call little mini gardens. So a lot of my villagers have these type of gardens. And I blocked them and prevented them from growing too much just by putting those little rock paths around the outside. And these are actually a creator that does pathing for these type of paths here, and they're actually meant to be outlined, but they work really well in separating some gardens. So the last way I'd like to show you is by doing an intentionally left blank design. So you'll need the upgraded designer for that, but I have a design down here that is intentionally left blank. So if we go to here and just change the design, you'll see that there's absolutely nothing in here. And at the very top right, you'll see that kind of like stripe look. That means there's nothing there. So we'll keep it there. And the cool thing about this is if you decide you don't want any little clovers or flowers or designs and you just want the normal looking path, you can actually place these down right on top of yourself and they will prevent all of these flowers from growing out. So I can have this path clear of lilies and it should be good to go. Another way to do this is by, if you want to make it easier for yourself, is opening your island designer, start construction. And then in the plus sign, when you go to custom design, just set this one here. That way you can place it on top of every grass spot you don't want flowers to grow. Keep in mind, you won't be able to dig out this area anymore and you won't have any flowers spreading. So if you're looking to grow flowers, you might have to stand over it and hit Y just to make sure there's nothing there because it definitely is pretty sneaky. So here's a perfect example of where my flowers kind of overgrew from the rainy season. All of these hyacinth actually weren't originally here. They were only just these edge ones. So let's get rid of these. And so what we'll do is we'll stand right next to it and go into our designs and put this intentional blank one here on the ground. And that should prevent it from spreading anywhere else because it can't go up or down because there's the little sticks there. You can't go here because there's furniture and they can't go that way for the river. So these will actually be all set. So hopefully that helps you prevent your flower overgrowth problem. And I'm going to take care of my own problems right now. Have a good one. Bye. 